Today we are going to be doing Module 4, Lesson 13, Writing Division Expressions. Remember that expressions means it does not have an equal sign, and we've been working with expressions for the past few weeks. Okay, so our first question of the day is, how can we show 8 divided by 2? Now there are three ways that we can do that. The obvious one is the one that we are most familiar with, 8 divided by 2. Another way is we can say, we can draw a bar, we can call that bar 8, and then we can divide that bar in half, divided by 2. And the last way we can do it is by writing it with a fraction, as we've done in the past. We can say 8 divided by 2, where 8 is considered the dividend, and 2 is the divisor. And I'll show you once again down here. 8 divided by 2 here. 8 is the dividend. And 2 is a divisor. These are two more words that we need to add to our vocabulary. Our next question that we're going to do with today is 8 divided by 2 the same as 2 divided by 8? And it's the question of is division uh, the same as the commutative property for multiplication? So is there a commutative property for division? Well, let's review what the commutative property for multiplication is. The commutative property for multiplication says that 3 times 4 is the same as 4 times 3. So we know that 3 times 4 is 12. We also know that 4 times 3 is also 12. And so that's a good way to test. Yes, it works for multiplication. The question again is, does it work for division? Is 8 divided by 2 the same as 2 divided by 8? So to do that, let's try looking now what 8 divided by 2 is. Okay, so we can see it in the fraction form. Now 2 divided by 8 does not equal 4. That's better to look at it in the fraction form. And then divide top and bottom by 2, and we get 1 fourth. So 2 divided by 8 is 1 fourth. Well, that is definitely not the same. And so the commutative property does not work for this. So we can say no to that answer. 8 divided by 2 is not the same as 2 divided by 8. Okay, on to our first example. Write an expression 1 divided by 2 without the use of the division symbol. So if we skip down to modeling it, we can take our bar and draw our bar again can make that our 1, and then we can divide it by 2. Now we know, because what we know this is, is this becomes 1 half. So if we write an expression showing 1 divided by 2, we would write 1 half. Okay, that was easy enough. Moving on to example 2, write an expression showing a divided by 2 without the use of a division symbol. Well, we could take the a and substitute it for the number 1, and then it looks just like the one at the top. So if we drew a model of that one, skipping down to here, a model would be a, this whole thing is a. We can divide it by 2, and then what we have for each piece is a over 2. So if we write an expression showing a divided by 2, then we're writing a divided by 2 this way. The question says when we write the division right here, when we write division expression, expressions using the division symbol, we represent, and here's what we're going to write again, dividend divided by 
divisor. And this is the stuff you want to write on your paper or your notebook. Hopefully you have a notebook that you're writing in right now. The last one says, how would this look when we write division expression using a fraction? Well, then we write dividend divided by divisor. Again, those are notes you want to take because that is something that will be on a quiz. Okay, our next question is write an expression showing a divided by b without the division symbol. Since there is no number for this one, we're not going to draw a model, we're just going to do the symbol that we've been doing, which is a divided by b. Remember, this is an expression, so we don't have an equal sign. Okay, so for the next one, write an expression for a g divided by the quantity h plus 3. So there are a few words we need to work through here. First off, we know we're working with g, so we want to box that out. Next, we're going to be working with the divided by, and we divided by, we know means a division symbol. The first one was g. divided by, and then we have the word quantity. Quantity is an interesting word. Quantity means we're going to need to use some grouping symbols, and the grouping symbols that we actually know about are the parentheses. Parentheses are called grouping symbols, and you've probably have heard that in the past. So when we see the word quantity, we want to think about parentheses, working with grouping symbols. And here it says H plus 3. So h plus 3 is written as h plus 3, and we're all pretty much familiar with that. Now, if you look at the top, we have it all written down for us. Take a minute to write this on your paper, including the words, and then continue with the video. Now, if you did that, you should see that we now have everything written out for us. G divided by, in parentheses, h plus 3. Now please note we have to have our grouping symbols h plus 3 because if we did not and we just had g divided by h plus 3, because of PEMDAS we'd have to do the g divided by h first. So we definitely don't want that. Okay, so now we're going to write this expression using the division symbol. So our g becomes our divide, dividend, sorry, and that goes above next to, which is where our numerator is as well. Our h plus 3 gets written down below because that's our divisor. So notice that we don't have parentheses around it anymore, and that is because it, we don't have to worry about the orders of operations. When we have it this way, we know that we do this one first. We take care of this first before we do the division sign. So we don't need the division when we're writing it as a fraction. Okay, let's look at C. C says to write an expression again for, now here we have the word quotient, but then we have that word quantity again. So let's work with that first. The word quantity, m reduced by 3, well that's where our quantity is going to be. So that's what's going to go in our parentheses. m reduced by 3, if you remember from the past, past few weeks, means m reduced by a subtraction 3. And now we'll go back and deal with the quotient part. When we have the word quotient, we'll see this word afterwards, and. And that connects us to that. So m subtracted by 3 and the quotient of 5. What that's going to look like is our m reduced by 3 divided by 5. So when we see that and, that's going to be our division sign. m minus 3 divided by 5. So now, if we're writing that in fraction form, 
we're going to write the m minus 3 up top in the numerator. It's, it's the div dividend. And then the divided by is our fraction bar, and then 5 on the bottom. OK, so our next one are the exercises. And usually I put these on a Google slide, but I'm uh, not doing it today. Today we're going to work through these this way. On your paper, you should be writing these down. The first one says 12 divided by 4. 12 divided by 4, in, they want us to write it, if we look at the directions, using, using the division symbol and as a fraction. So there are two ways of doing it. So the division symbol, first and foremost, would be 12 divided by 4. And then using it as a, as a fraction, it would be 12 divided by 4. So your job is to do A, uh, B, and C on your own, and then come back to the video and see how you did. Should have done 3 divided by 5, which looks like 3 divided by 5. And then A divided by 4, which looks like A divided by 4. Okay, so D says the quotient of 6 and M. And just like I showed before, when you have the word quotient and you have the word and, the and is your division symbol. So it looks like this. 6 and M. Written as a fraction, it's 6 over M. Okay? So E says 7 divided by the quantity 6. I'm sorry, X plus Y. Well, when we have the word quantity, we need to put our parentheses to start with. So that should be written as 7, there's the division sign, divided by, right there, the quantity of x plus y. Well, that goes like this, x plus y. And so as a fraction, we write it as 7 divided by x plus y. By the way, if we're writing this, if we're typing it on Google uh, Edpuzzle, then we write it as 7 divided by y. We use a slash sign. Sorry, not y. We write it as 7 divided by x plus y. That's how you, that's how you type it in the computer. OK, uh, moving on to y divided by the quantity x minus 11. Again, we have our division sign. It goes over here. And the quantity is here, so that is this way. So see if you can do this one before looking at the video. OK. Well, because you have the y first, we write the y first, divided by, and then we write our grouping symbols, which are parentheses, x minus 11. The second way of writing it is as a fraction. So the y goes on top, and then the x minus 11 goes on the bottom. All right, we're on a roll. Try G, the sum of the quantity H plus H and 3, that's plus, divided by 4. So the sum tells us that and equals plus. And because we have quantity, we're going to write our parentheses, our grouping symbols. We're going to group those together. Take a minute and try to write that one yourself. Okay, so you should have written h plus 3, because that came first, then the divided by, and 4. And so as a fraction, we write h plus 3 divided by 4. Now, see how you do on the last one. The quotient of the quantity k minus 10 and m. Well, don't forget that we have the word quotient and we have the word and. That and is where your division is going to be. And don't forget we have quantity and that quantity means we need to put in parentheses. 
All right, give it a try. See how you do. Well, hopefully, you put the parentheses around the K and the 10. Sorry, that's not a very good parentheses. There we go. So you should have written K minus 10 with the parentheses around them and M. And means divided by. And so as a fraction, it is K minus 10 divided by or and M. All right, so you did well if you did this well, if you did this and you were able to get them. Hopefully you did. Your next assignment will be through a new, a new thing called assessments. So with assessments, you'll be able to do the problem set and get immediate feedback to see if you did it right. Remember, when you're writing the fractions on, and typing them in, you do K minus 10 slash M. The slash is a division symbol. It's your, it's your fraction bar, it's your divided by. All right, good luck.